Hello and welcome to Yoga Meditation Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is all about feeling grateful in the body. And when you feel grateful about your body, then it transcends to outside your body. So let's get started on this beautiful yoga opening this morning. Good morning. You're going to need a yoga blanket, actually two of them, one for underneath your feet and one to put all over your body. I invite you to go outdoors in this beautiful environment. Right now it's a little bit chilly out here. It's about 56 degrees in Florida. I know if you can imagine that. And the sun is coming up over the horizon and it's extra special because we're feeling the energy of the elements all around us. Even though we're bundled up and we're chilly, we're gonna warm up here pretty soon. So grab a tissue as well. Blow your nose. We're gonna do Kambali body breaths. The reason we do that is because it really warms up the belly. Kambala body breath. Inhale through the nose with the mouth closed. Exhale all the way. Rapid concessions through the nose with the mouth closed, 33 breaths, go. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Toning the abdominals increasing the metabolism and building the immune system is very important to all 10 toes facing forward look down at your hands look down at your feet what we're doing is we're just recognizing our minds our bodies in the here and now this is very significant so let's be grateful for that one hand over the heart one hand over the solar plex breathe in deep and when you breathe in the sternum lifts the chest lifts towards the heavens the hips press towards the open side. And when you breathe out, relax. Drop your shoulders. Breathe in, stretch it up, chin up now. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Good, now look down at the feet. I want you to place your right foot towards the right side and keep that left foot square we're going to in inhale forward bringing the arms up to the side inhale up and then we're going to turn our body so we're facing over the right leg and then exhale down inhale up reach up back to center exhale down twist towards the right breathe in up reach up and almost like you're coming to a slight back bend over the right leg and exhale down breathe in up back to center square the right foot forward and then the left foot is going to face towards the left we're going to twist our body towards the left and then exhale over the left leg breathe out breathe in up each time we come up in yoga with the exception of one breath we lift up exhale we come down Breathe it up, reach up, press that hip towards the left side, reach up, hands towards the sky, exhale down. Breathe it up, reach up, reach, reach, reach those hips forward, chest up, slight back bend here, exhale down. Breathe in up, reach up, 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 up. Get that nice stretch, 
and then exhale, twist towards the center side. This is awesome. Bring the arms down. Good. Breathe in up. Now, the arms, the feet are facing outward. We're going to come up with the arms. Breathe in. Clasp the hands together above the head. Lock the thumbs into place up above the head. Breathe in again. And then exhale, squat down like you're sliding your back down the wall and bring the hands to heart and to the sternum. Inhale up, reach up, press the hips forward. Oh, this is awesome, yes, <laughs> I'm loving this. Exhale down. Slide the back down the wall, inhale up, reach up. Exhale down, come into a nice squat. Thumbs pressed into the sternum. Good. Slowly come up. Keep the, the hands where they're at. We're going to come into a nice forward bend. Breathe in, lift the chest up. Breathe out, forward. Walk the hands over to the right, outside of the right shin. When you do that, Place the hands on top of each other and press that left hip towards the open side. Inhale, press forward, and then exhale. Walk the hands over to the other side, the left side. Stack the hands on top of each other and press the right hip towards the right side. This is wonderful. Exhale, and we're doing this nice and slow. It does not have to be fast. Hands over to the right side. Twist that body to make sure those that left hip comes forward, exhale, drop your body forward, inhale, lift your body over the left leg, lie side of the left leg, exhale, drop your body forward, inhale, lift your body over the right side, the outside of the right leg, press that left hip forward, exhale, drop your body forward, Lift your body over the outside of the left leg. Twist it and make sure that right hip is pressing forward so you have that nice hip stretch. Exhale forward. Now we're going to stay forward here. Drop your chin into your chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Drop. Feel yourself relaxing. Feel that head dangle. Bend the knees. Cross the arms. Use the front hips to press forward. And as you press forward, you're going to come up. And you're just going to bring your hands to the side. And you're going to bring your feet together. Okay. Press the hips forward. Arms come back. Inhale here. And then exhale. Stand up nice and tall. Good. Nice. Nice. Taking the hands and placing them behind the back. So we're just resting them on the sacral bone right here, past the lower lumbar. And as we breathe in, we're going to drop the chin forward and exhale. The right ear comes the right shoulder. Inhale, drop the chin forward. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Oh, that feels great, doesn't it? Drop the chin forward, right ear to right shoulder, drop the chin forward, slowly roll the left ear to left shoulder, drop, right ear to right shoulder, drop, left ear to left shoulder. Ooh, that feels good. We're going to drop it here and hold it here. Breathing out, dropping those shoulders, letting them relax forward. Engage the abdominal so the belly button is squeezed in just a little bit along with your gluteus maximus, pressing your hips forward. Inhale, come up. Chin up, chest up. And so the chin is all the way towards the sky, and then they're exhaling, chin into the chest. Good. Inhale up. Chin up, chest up. Exhale forward. Drop. 
One more time, inhale, chin up, chest up. And then drop, chin into the chest. Now here's a one for you. The chin is gonna come out towards the chest. So you're sticking your head out like a chicken. And then you're bringing your head back like a double chin. Sticking the head out like a chicken and bringing your head back like a double chin. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, hold it here. Exhale, double chin, hold it, breathe out. Ah, oh, that felt good, didn't it? Wavy wrist piano fingers. Getting rid of any crankiness in the phalanges. And watch what happens when you spread your fingers wide and you roll them out. You get that stretchy sensation in the palms. Feels good, doesn't it? Now we're gonna roll our wrists forward and roll it backward. Ooh, snap, crackle, pop in your wrist. Good, good job, nice. Right hand behind the back, square gets the lower lumbar. Left hand, inhale towards the sky, exhale, stretch it and bend. So you're using the strength of both thighs to hold you up and press your hips forward. As you're bending, press that left hip forward and keep that left arm in alignment with your left ear. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, come up. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in, slowly come up. Slowly we bring the left hand behind the left back, behind the lower lumbar. Inhale, reach up, right hand towards the sky and bend towards the left side. Breathing out. Good, slowly come up. Switch arms, nice and slow. Again, nice beginner's yoga here. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Good. Inhale, up. Bring that left arm down as you exhale. Inhale, up. Bend towards the right. Inhale, up. Right hand behind the back, left hand towards the sky. We breathe in, we reach, and we exhale. We bend towards the left. Excuse me, towards the right. <laughs> I have to mirror. Inhale, come up, press the hips forward as you come up, and then we're doing this nice and slow. The left hand comes behind the back. Inhale, right hand up, and then bend towards the left. And essentially, we're breathing in through the nose with the mouth closed. Inhale up. We're exhaling through the nose with the mouth closed as much as possible. Inhale up, reach. Left hand towards the sky. Exhale, bend left hand all the way over towards the right. So you're pressing that right hip forward and you're feeling that, excuse me, that left hip forward and you're feeling that nice stretch in the obliques. Reach, 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 exhale, exit, exit here, and then slowly come up. Oh, yes, inhale, exhale, left hand down, inhale, right hand up. Reach all the way over towards the left. Inhale, up, exhale, right hand down behind the back, inhale, up, left hand reach 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 and then exhale all the way over towards the right pressing that left hip forward oh yes loving that one more time on the right inhale up reach up towards the sky exhale bring that left hand behind the back 
inhale, come up with the right, and then exhale, bend. Left ear to left shoulder, right arm all the way over towards the left. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Oh yes, inhale, slowly come up. And slowly come down. So we have a nice stable stance. We're bringing the left arm all the way across the body and we're keeping that left arm nice and straight. Use the right forearm to press against that left elbow, okay? And you get that nice deltoid stretch, right? So when we do that, we're gonna breathe in and twist towards the right side. Breathe in, twist all the way over towards the right. Look behind you and then slowly come back to center. Ooh, that's a good one, right? Okay, keep that left arm straight. Breathe in, press left arm into the body with the right forearm and then twist. Oh, yeah. Inhale back to center. Ooh. Exhale, twist. Pressing that left arm into the body with the right. Inhale back to center. And then one more time, exhale, twist. And then use that right forearm to press that left elbow into the body. And then slowly inhale back to center. Drop that left arm down. What we're gonna do is wash the machine arms. Ooh, shake it, shake it, shake it. And bring that right arm across the body. Left forearm presses against right elbow. And now we're going to exhale, twist all the way towards the left. Twist, twist, twist. Inhale back to center. Whew. Exhale, press. Right arm into the body, twist towards the left. All the way, all the way. Inhale back to center. Whew. Two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twist, 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 twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twist, 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 twist. And then inhale back to center. And then drop the right arm, shake it off. Wash machine arms. Now with our feet, Point it outwards a little bit. Okay, good. We're going to find an indentation, a piece of grass to stare at. And we're going to follow directions just by listening to the voice. The arms are going to come up by the side and they're going to come up above the body. And we're going to lift, come up on the balls of the feet at the same time as we lift the arms up. Bring the hands together above the head. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to come down with the heels first. The knees come out into a squat and the hands come to heart. Hold it here for just a moment. Breathe in, come up. Good job. Keep staring at that focal point. It's going to help you balance. Toes, hands come together. Exhale, heels first, knees bend, hands to sternum nice and slow. And then we're pressing the hips forward so we have that nice open area. Breathe in, come up. Keep staring at the balancing point. Exhale, heels first, bend the knees out. Bring the hands down nice and slow. Press the hips forward. Oh, that's good. Like you've got your butt squeezed in nice and tight. And then slowly come up. We're doing this two more times. Inhale up, breathe in, come together. Exhale down. <sighs> Press the hips forward, thumbs into the sternum. Lift the chest. I know this feels weird, but it'll feel great afterwards. Exhale. Breathe in, come up. Tippy toes. Hands together. Press hips forward. Exhale down. Heels. Knees bend. Press hips forward. Thumbs press into the sternum. Breathe out. Whew. Breathe in, come up nice and slow. Oh, that was good. Nice. Now we're going to keep our hands like this 
Eric had bent forward, relaxing forward. And as we do that, we're going to feel that stretch and just let our hands slide down to our ankles and let our head dangle here. And as we let the head dangle, we feel that upper body relaxing, bending forward. Breathe in through the nose with the mouth closed. So we slightly lift the chest, breathe out the head dangles. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, head dangles. We bend forward a little bit more. We feel that lovely stretch in the back of the legs. One more time, breathe in, lift up, chest up. Breathe out, fold forward, bending forward, relaxing, head dangling, body letting go. Now we take the hands and we move the hands forward on the yoga blanket. We step back, preparing for our down dog, making sure that the feet are level with the hips. Press back. We want those heels of the feet above the surface. Press back, head down. Breathe out. Breathe in. We slightly roll forward. Breathe out. We come back. Breathe in, slightly roll forward. Breathe out, come back. Let the head dangle here. Feel that strength building in your arms through the shakiness. Breathe in, slightly roll forward. Breathe out, push back. And then drop your knees to the surface. There you go, we're gonna come into a baby plank pose. So when we come into a baby plank pose, we're gonna walk the hands forward a little and let the hips press. So we're feeling a slight back bend here, crankiness in the back. Squeeze the glutes in. There you go. Now we're gonna come into a child's pose and we're gonna flow with this, okay? Breathe out, sit bones towards the heels and then forehead to the yoga blanket. Breathe out. Breathe in, we slowly come up, and as we come up, we prepare for our plank, pressing our hips and letting them come to the floor. Squeeze the glutes for, for back support, okay? Breathe out. There you go. Breathe in, come up. Forehead comes to the mat for a breath. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, hips towards the earth. Breathe out. Inhale, derriere towards the sit bones. Forehead towards the yoga mat. Breathe out. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, hips towards the earth one more time. Ah, oh, yes, exhale. Somebody's happy, inhale. Exhale, sit bones towards the heels and we're gonna hold it here for three breaths. Just relaxing and letting go and allowing the lower lumbar to relax. And he's, we've got those sit bones towards the heels and Eric, see if you can flatten your top of your feet. Instead of tucking them under, you flatten them like that. See if you can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. See if you can flatten those feet right there. There you go. But now drop your head. Now you're really feeling that nice stretch. Breathe out, breathe out.
One more deep breath. Now we're slowly gonna come up. And as we slowly come up, we're back in tabletop. Now we tuck the feet under this time to stabilize our stance. The knees are hip width apart. Bring the knees together just a little bit. There you go. Inhale, sit bones and tailbone towards the sky, chin up towards the sky. Exhale, we're gonna round the back here. Feel the shoulder blades separate. Breathe out. Breathe in up, nice Cheshire grit. Oh yes, open it up the straight in the brain. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, chin up, chest up. Oh, nice big stretch. Exhale, bring the chin all the way into the chest and round the back, stretching the spine towards the sky. Inhale up, chin up, chest up. Exhale, round the back. Breathe in up, chin up, chest up, and tailbone up. We're gonna hold it here as we hold the breath in. Breathe in, hold. Breathe out, chin to the chest. Round the back, spine towards the sky. Tuck that tailbone in. Breathe out all the way and hold the breath out. And then inhale back to center. And we're gonna do something called an S curve with the spine. And we're gonna bring the left shoulder into the left hip. So we're gonna bend and exhale, left shoulder into left hip like we're looking out over our left derriere. Inhale back to center, and we're going to do the right side. Exhale, right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, right. Breathe in. Breathe out left. Whoo, there we go. Breathe in. Breathe out right. Really feeling that stretch on the opposite hip. One more time on the left, inhaling towards the center, exhaling towards the left side. Inhaling towards the center, exhaling towards the right side. Breathe in center, whoo, that felt good. Slowly we're gonna roll over Eric onto our left side. We're gonna bring right leg forward like a runner stretch sitting down. Open up that right leg all the way back to where you feel a nice stretch right here. There you go, do you do sports? Okay, so you're going to really feel it here. Uh, yeah, yeah, when you work out, when you do the squats, this is where it gets it here. Okay, right. yeah, right? Okay, now we're going to keep our derriere, our butt cheeks, on the surface as much as possible. Walk the hands forward and drop our chin into a chest. And it doesn't matter how fall, much you fall forward. Just so you feel that deep stretch from the base all the way up. Drop it, drop it. The idea is to feel the weight in your shoulders and then the, it presses you towards the earth on your exhale. So here's a little trick. Inhale, slightly lift the chest as you come up. Exhale, come forward. You'll feel that forwardness falling a little bit more, a little bit more. And if you come up off your sit bones, that's okay. If you come up off your glutes, that's okay. Breathe in a little bit farther up, lifting the chest and exhaling, dropping the chin into the chest. Breathe in up, lift the chest a little bit, 
in the chin a little bit and then breathe out fall forward and then we're going to stay down here for three breaths breathing in and breathing out now close your eyes and concentrate on the belly filling up with breath eric and exhaling and as you exhale drop feel that release and know you can always stay in some form or another with this pose if it gets to be too much of a stretch you can always bring your arms up a little bit we're down here for two more breaths really feeling that lovely stretch in the knees underneath the leg the back the neck Ooh, just about everywhere it's wonderful inhale slowly come up using the arms to come up and when we inhale we get a little bit lightheaded and that's okay that's just a lot of energy coming into the brain now we're going to bring the feet in right foot in and now the left foot goes out the left leg goes out all the way and then we want that left leg going out so we feel that nice groin stretch underneath and then we finally feel it we go okay i feel it <laughs> i feel it in my knee and then we walk forward with the hands as much as we can dropping the elbows dropping the shoulders dropping the chin into the chest exhaling slightly lift the chin up lift the chest up on the inhale and then fall forward again more and more closing the eyes we have this nice internal focus to what the body is doing so we're more in the here and now focus on filling up the belly even though it's constricted inhaling lifting the chest slightly lifting the chin slightly exhaling falling forward breathing in lifting the chest slightly filling up the belly all the way with breath and then exhaling falling forward and as we fall forward we're going to hold the forward bend for three breaths just a nice slow inhale and a nice slow exhale drop the chin drop the head feel that occipital ridge right here just relax Now we're slowly going to come up and breathe in at the same time as we come up. Ooh, that felt good. We're going to bring both feet together and open up our knees in a butterfly pose. Now sometimes the groin muscles, it's too much, so we can always walk the feet forward and then walk the sit bones back. Nice fleshy part, okay? Hands around the feet so we're covering the feet we're recognizing the feet is grounding with the earth inhale lift the chest up towards the sky the chin up and then exhale drop your elbows inside the legs and drop yourself forward now we're going to do that nice chest chin lift for three times and then fold forward letting it go inhale slightly lift of the chin slightly lift of the chest we feel that nice spine stretch and now exhale fall forward let it go Woo, that feels good drop the chin drop the elbows drop the shoulders inhale slight lift chin chest filling up the belly at the same time all these things to think about exhale fall forward drop the head drop the chest allow the shoulder blades to separate inhale lift the chest lift the chin fill up the belly exhale fall forward all the way and stay down here for three more breaths 
Allow that neck to relax. And on the outward breath, you're feeling your elbows drop, you're feeling your chin drop, you're feeling your head drop and your shoulders drop, as well as your knees and your feet. Close the eyes and now just concentrate on filling up the belly with breath on the inhale. Nice to the expansion and then exhale. Breathe in on the count of one, two, three. Fill the belly up like a hot air balloon. Exhale, three, two, one. And on the next inhale, we're slowly going to come up, breathing in at the same time. Ooh, psychedelic, right? Oh, yeah. We don't need drugs. We got yoga. <laughs> okay, spread out the blanket. We're going to tuck ourselves underneath the blanket. <clears throat> and at one point, I'm going to come up for the video camera because we're videoing it and you can see. Um, did you sign on to our live Sunrise Beach Yoga YouTube channel? Um, I did. Okay, so you'll find us. I'll help you with it after class, okay? Oh, yeah. And um, then you can get all the videos that we're doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to come forward underneath the blanket. Sit bones towards the end so we, when we lie down, our head, our head is fully on the yoga mat. Oh, yeah. And slowly lower down. And we're going to open our knees up to Supta Baddha Konasana. There you go. Now, if it's too much of a groin stretch and it's not comfortable enough for you, then push the legs down so they relax more. And then just bundle yourself up underneath. Okay? Now, you're going to bundle yourself up. I'm going to take the knees out so the camera can see. Okay? One hand on the heart, rest the elbow. The other hand on the solar plex, rest the elbow on the surface. Now close the eyes. Close the eyes. There you go. Now with the eyes closed, we're tuning our body into the here and now. We're feeling the release. We're feeling that let go sensation of our body dropping to the earth. That's why we do the outdoor yoga. We feel the earth's energy beneath us. Now, as you inhale, you're filling up the belly area. You're filling it to the expansion. And as you exhale, you're slowly dropping it down, relaxing your bones into the earth. You're feeling the shoulder blades against the earth. You're feeling the spine against the earth. You're feeling the hip bones against the earth. You're feeling your sacral bone right underneath the lower lumbar. Now today's yoga meditation is all about thanks giving. And we're giving thanks to our bodies first. We're thanking our body for what it's doing right now. It's relaxing, it's letting go of the stress. Because sometimes when those muscles get so tight, they don't want to let go and release. And they hold our stress in our body and we use breath control to release that stress. So breathe in nice and full in the belly. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three two, one. And if you notice on the inhale, the body tenses up as it lifts. And on the exhale, it drops, it lets go, it feels at ease. Now this is pretty cool, laying outdoors underneath the blanket all snuggled up. And now we're going to share with you an important part of how we tune into meditation. 
And we've been doing it all along in our yoga class today. We've been breathing in long, slow and deep breaths and breathing out. And then doing the yoga pose at the same time is a meditation in itself. But when we finally get to the comfortable relaxing point, the inhale breath relaxes us even more. And now we're tuning in with our body's mind. And now we're going to tune in with the body's spirit. The second aspect of yoga meditation and the second key in the to keep that focus on the yoga meditation is to visualize. And in this visualization, we're going to give ourselves the healing white light of energy. So it's a little bit chilly out, but we're underneath the blankets. Breathe in and visualize a healing ball of light underneath the palms. And this healing ball of light is a warm sensation. And as it's touching you, you're feeling it as it grows brighter and brighter on your inhale. So we're connecting the two. We're connecting the inhale breath with the visualization, healing light in the center of our palms. And as we exhale, we're allowing and we're visualizing that sensation, that healing white light to go down our arms, up around our shoulders, and then now the light is gonna take two directions. It's gonna go down our torso, all the way to our legs and feet, and up our shoulders to our neck and head. Now we're gonna connect the two together. Inhale, healing white light sensation fills up the body with breath. Exhale, healing white light sensation absorbs. And sometimes the mind chatter will get in the way of your visualization. So that's why you connect it with breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now we're going to connect the third very important aspect of yoga meditation. And that is feeling that warm sensation, feeling the body lift as you breathe in, feeling the body relax as you breathe out. We're visualizing and we're breathing, inhaling, expanding the body, feeling it tighten as we inhale to expansion. And as we exhale, feeling the body drop, letting go and feeling peace. Bring the mind back to the here and now. Inhale, feel the body expand. Exhale, feel the body drop. Now on the next big inhale, we're gonna bring our knees together 
and we're going to bring our knees up into the chest underneath the blanket. And as we take our hands on top of our knees, Eric, we're going to rock from side to side. And when we rock from side to side, we feel that lower cranky lumbar relaxing. And this is the way we can give our lower back a massage anytime when you're doing squats in the gym, Eric, and it's too much on your lower back. This is excellent for that. Now roll your knees towards the right side. Straighten out the top leg. Use the top arm to come up nice and slow. Ooh, hello. That was nice. <laughs> So we're going to cross our legs here and we're going to close it out. We just did a nice Thanksgiving healing meditation. And now we learned three aspects of yoga meditation, the breath, the visual, visualization, and the feeling of the breath and the visualization in the body. Again, we're going to take one hand over the heart, one hand over the solar plex, drop the shoulders, and when we close out a session, we want to keep that good energy to us. We repeat a positive affirmation to ourselves. Repeat after me, I am stronger in my body. I am stronger in my, body. I am stronger in my life. I am stronger in my mind. Breathe in deep. Breathe out, relax the shoulders. Namaste. And we say namaste as I honor the peace in you as well as the peace in myself. Thank you, YouTube, Facebook. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you put the, click onto the PayPal link below, thank you for your donations. Yoga, living life, loving it to the fullest.